वट वुड यू लाइक टू से अबाउट ग्लोबल वेंचर्स एज फर एज फाइनेंशियल मैटिक इज कंसर्न अब फोकस इन द नेक्स्ट फाइव इयर्स इज गोइंग टू बी डेफिनेटली डेवलप्ड मार्केट्स बट मेजोरिटी ऑफ द फोकस विल बी इन डोमेस्टिक मार्केट इन इंडिया एज वेल एज द इमर्जिंग मार्केट दैट इज द डेवलपिंग वर्ल्ड दिस इज वेयर आई थिंक द होल पॉपुलेशन इज गोइंग दिस इज वेयर द पर कैपिटा इनकम एट एन इंडिविजुअल लेवल इज गोइंग एंड देर फोर द हेल्थ केयर एक्सपेंडिचर इज लाइक टू बी मच हायर एज कम्पेयर टू द प्रीवियस इयर सो Uh, in terms of uh, approaching these markets financial is getting very aggressive and would look at you know organic and inorganic opportunities in this market from uh, sales marketing and distribution point of view uh, what is your overall business plan in our overall business plan we are looking at almost if you if you see our uh, last 10 years record which actually shows how sustainable the business planning and growth in a company is you would find that we are growing on an average 25% compounded annual growth rate and we are very hopeful that in the coming years we will maintain that and at times uh, some of the years we may outperform that so we expect that anything between around 20 to 25% growth rate is the minimum that we target every year uh, what is your concept of innovation okay actually the definition of innovation has been changing in our company from time to time when we began for us innovation meant a technology innovation meant a breakthrough you know product technology uh, which comes to the market and is able to give you huge profits why that is still true but i think over the last 15 20 years we have learned that it's not only product dependent technology breakthroughs high level interventions but also molecule independent differentiation which is also a part of innovation and the whole company getting together in creating that differentiation in creating that innovation which is useful is our definition of innovation it's not only an r&d center working on certain molecules and declaring that he has the technology no it's different parts of the company how they come together to convert that invention or creative idea or that differentiation into a marketable marketable product and then taking it to the customer i think is innovation however we have also learned that it's not the labs and r&d centers which actually tell you what to improve what to differentiate but customer back thinking that is end back thinking we are now trying to involve our employees our investors as well as our customers in our business planning and since we particularly felt that this was true for any pharmaceutical company or biotech company everybody in today's world involves customers employees as well as investors